In this screencast, I'll show you how to use LinkPad to interact with the Serum Online OData service. Now, if you're familiar with LinkPad, you know that it has out-of-the-box support for OData up to version 3. Unfortunately, the built-in LinkPad driver has no facility to authenticate to the Serum Online OData service, which requires OAuth. However, the great thing about LinkPad is you can use any code that you author inside of LinkPad as well. So to get around this limitation, what we're going to do is generate some code for the OData service and use it from LinkPad. And we'll do that in conjunction with using the Active Directory Authentication Library, or ADAL, to authenticate and get the OAuth token to pass to the OData service. Okay, so to get started, I'll come over here to Internet Explorer, and I've navigated to Settings, Customizations, and notice you have this Developer Resources link. When you click on that, you have the opportunity to download uh, the CSDL, which is the metadata for the OData service. You can click this link and download it. I happen to already have it here in my download section. So now I'll come over to Visual Studio and I'll just create a class library project. I'll just call this you can call this anything, but I'll just call it CRM OData Library. I'll delete this class here, and we'll create an OData, a reference to that OData service. Now for OData v1 through 3, the way to add a reference to an OData service and get some code generation is by selecting Add Service Reference. For OData v4, there's a new approach to doing that that's an extension to Visual Studio called the OData Client Generator. Now since Serum doesn't support OData v4 just yet, we're going to use Add Service Reference. What's noteworthy here is the a future release of Serum will support OData v4. Now I'll come back and update this blog post with instructions on how to use the client code generator. However, I think once you see this video walkthrough, it'll be pretty self-explanatory. So again, we're going to use the OData v1 through 3 mechanism, which is add service reference. And then I'll just point to that downloaded CSDL file. Click Go. It's going to read the metadata. And I'll just call this something very simple like a CRM service reference. Click OK. All right, so the client code generation is complete. I'll simply build this. The build succeeded. So now I'll go over to LinkPad. So this is the basic code that we're going to want to write. And this here is essentially the code necessary to get the OAuth token. This is the code to tell the OData context to use the OAuth token. And then this is a query. Notice I'm using a C sharp statement instead of a C sharp expression. So before we get into getting this code working, there's one thing we're going to have to do to enable this. And that's to configure Azure Active Directory to allow LinkPad to connect to it. So make sure that you've navigated in the management portal to Active Directory and find the Azure Active Directory tenant which governs the CRM Online instance you're interacting with. In my case, that's Mark Test 1 here. So you need to add an application. Notice right now, all I have is CRM Online. So I'll add a new one. I'll add an application my organization is developing. I'll just call this link pad. It's a native client application. 
the redirect URI, as the instructions say here, can really be anything. It just has to be a valid URI. So we'll just call this HTTP link pad. And you'll see how I use this later. Go ahead and add that. And let's configure it. So we have to give this application permission to interact with CRM Online. So let's do that. I'll click Add Application here. Notice there's Dynamic CRM Online. I'll select that. Click OK. And then finally, I'll have to give it permission to access CRM Online as organization users. Click Save. Okay, that's successful. Now that that's completed, I can come back over to LinkPad, and I'm just going to copy all this code and bring it over to a fresh query, which should be the, the same experience you will have. First, you have to switch to C# -sharp statements, paste this code, and I'll, I'll provide this as a, a download from my blog post as well. So first of all, we need to grab the client ID that we just for the application we just created. That's right here. So I'll put that there. You need to provide the Serum Online instance URL that you want to inter interact with. We need to provide that redirect URI, and remember I called it LinkPad. We need to tell the Active Directory Authentication Library where the OAuth authorization endpoint is, and this is the string to use. And then we acquire the token, we provide the resource, the client ID, the redirect URI, and whether or not we want Active Directory Authentication Library to prompt us for login. Now I've set this to auto, which means if the OAuth token is already cached on my machine, don't force me to log in again. Then we're going to new up our OData service context, which is in the DLL of the code we just created. And as I said earlier, we're going to pass the access token and attach it to the HTTP header, such that when we actually execute the query, the OAuth token is passed to the web service. Now this code won't want run right now because if I hit F4 in LinkPad, you'll notice there are no references to anything right now. And if I actually try to run this by hitting F5, I'll get a bunch of errors. So the first thing we need to do is add the right references. So I'll hit F4. And notice that LinkPad allows you to add NuGet packages. So you won't see this if this is the first time you've done it or if you've never added either of these. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these packages so you can see what your experience will look like. So here I'm just going to come in and I'm going to look for ADAL. There it is. I'm going to add it. Accept the license. I'm going to add, look for OData. And I need the package, the WCF Data Services Client for V1 through 3. And I'll add that as well. I'll accept the license for those. Click Close. Notice now we have those two NuGet references. And if you know what you're doing, you can come in here and add the additional namespaces, but I'm just going to walk you through to how to figure out which namespaces to add the lazy way. So I'll click OK here. Now this time again, if I F hit F5 to try to run this query, notice that it's telling me I need to add a using statement. So we'll 
add Microsoft Identity Model Clients Active Directory. Then again, I can set a breakpoint there. I can try to F5 this again. No luck, because it says, you know what? I need to add something else. So here I'll hit F4. I actually need to browse to the code I just generated. So we'll go to Visual Studio, Projects, CRMO Data Library, and we'll just grab the DLL. Hit OK. Try it one more time. And now it's saying, OK, you actually need to add the namespace. So this time, if I hit a 4, just to see the references and the namespaces, I've got my DLL from the code gen that I created in Visual Studio, Microsoft Data Services Client, Microsoft Identity Model Clients Active Directory, and two namespaces imported. So now, this time, when I hit F5, the code will actually execute. I'm going to hit another breakpoint here real quick. Notice that little dialog popped up. I didn't have to log in because my token is already cached. So if we look at the query string here, If I actually copy it down here and paste it into Notepad, you'll see the full URL of the query string with projection and all the, the things that you can do with OData. And then if I keep going and finish executing here, the query actually executes and we see the results right here in LinkPad. Okay, so in this video I showed you how to use Visual Studio to create a service reference that will generate code that is callable from LinkPad and then add a reference to the DLL that code was in, the dependent libraries from NuGet, as well as the right namespaces to import such that you can Get the access token, instantiate the context, pass the access token through the context, and execute link queries from LinkPad. And while this is very useful for, for querying, bear in mind that you can also do anything that you can do with a no data context from C Sharp. So if I want to create new records and update records and all that sort of thing, I can do it right here from LinkPad.